In the year 69, a great battle would be waged. You guys think we have a good chance of winning? <laughs> Rooney, what about you? Sorry, hello? Did someone say my name? The Ranger supporters love me. <laughs> Bolts of lightning from his ass. <laughs> What's happening, boys, and welcome to the King Kenny and Dembele Scottish Squad Builder episode. Yeah. We have the new team of the week that came out yesterday. We have the likes of 88 Drews Merdens, a 91 Higgy Azalea, an 88 Shea the Whore, and then an 84 Fernandinho. Now, we also have a Chucky Irving Lozano, but I thought, you know what? Given that it's Thursday and given that we're trying to mix things up a little bit, Let's focus on a couple of the lesser known players. Let's see if there's maybe like an 81, 80, 79 rated card that we can do an emotional episode on. That is exactly what we've done. We are going to be going to the Scottish Premiership League today. Whenever I get a chance to focus on a smaller league or a smaller club or something like that, I always take the opportunity to do that. So really looking forward to it. We're going to the Scottish Premiership today and we're going to be looking at none other than King Kenny and his Prince Dembele. We're going to be starting off with our keeper. We're going to go with a guy, of course, if you have a Scottish Premiership side, and anytime you can get a chance to have a guy named McDonald in your keeper, uh, you are going to do it. So we've got this guy, Jamie McDonald, as our keeper. We're going to be moving on to Gamboa, who plays for Celtic. I know a lot of the players in the squad are going to be Celtic just because in FIFA they are the best, and obviously it is one of the biggest clubs in the Premiership, uh, in the Scottish Premiership, along with Rangers and a few others. But we've got Gamboa with the Sentinel on him with the 88 pace. Looks absolutely crazy. We've got Arneson, who you guys would have seen in the full Iceland Foot Champions uh, Qualification Challenge, AKA me. Some people think that I look like him, but I don't really see it. <laughs> We're going with the Porto and Turkish League legend, Bruno Alves. Have a shadow card on him. Obviously, they have to boost that 56 pace up. We are going with Lee Wallace. Again, if you're doing a Scottish side, you have to have a guy with the last name Wallace in it. We are going with Stuart Armstrong, who is one of the up and coming, I think he's like 25 years old, 15 goals and 31 appearances last season, which would explain why he got himself this 75 rated card as an upgrade. Uh, we are going with Scott Brown, who is an, a legend for Celtic. There's no other way to say it. You guys might not know this, but early in his career, he had to avoid fizzy drinks and chocolate because he'd become hyperactive. At our left center mid position, we are going with the Mexican, which you guys would have seen yesterday. Uh, Carlos Peña has gone to Rangers. And then at center forward, of course, we are going with Kenny Miller. Now he's gonna be 38 in December. High, high work rates, four-star weak foot. Let's take a look at some of these stats. For a 30, soon to be 38, uh, 38 age player, he still has himself 80 pace. Goes up from a 72 silver to the 79 rated inform gold card. 94 stamina. Again, a crazy amount of stamina to have for being that old. 76 strength. He's got 82 shot power, 80 long shots, a decent bit of short passing, no long passing to speak of, but some pretty incredible stats for a 37, uh, 37 year old card. We are going with Uso, or sorry, we're going with, almost did it. We're going with Celtic Musa Dembele as our right striker, 87 strength, uh, 86 finishing, 84 shot power, and uh, the 85 agility as well as the 82 composure. He is going to be our right striker, and then of course we're going to end things off. You can't do a Scottish Premier League side unless you have your boy Lee Griffiths in there. Was the SBC for the league, was the SBC for the Scottish Premiership League last year. Uh, it is yet to be seen who's going to be at this year. Maybe that is the question of the episode. You guys let me know if you follow the Scottish Premiership, uh, which of the players in that league might be eligible for the league SBC but anyway boys this is the squad right here the King Ken the squad feeling pretty confident about it again we're trying to get our play better really quickly Kenny Miller only one of five post-war players to have played for both Celtic and Rangers and I think he's like one of three players to have like done the switch successfully which is actually kind of crazy but anyway boys we are gonna get into it if you guys are hype for the full Scotland William Wallace squad smash that like button let's try and crush 4,000 likes per usual as well if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Instagram and Twitter links are there if you guys want to interact with me there. We're rolling with the CD Tenerife kit, which is, I believe, Liga, the second league, uh, the Liga 1, 2, 3. Looks sort of like a Scottish, like a badass Scottish war kit. Match number one, we're coming up against Zaha. We're coming up against Magic Martial, and then that Moy card as well. One of the best Australian cards in FIFA, at least this year so far, is the best Australian card. You'll never take both freedom! Positioning 
and just the header of dreams to put it past. Did you know Buzz, Butland or Forster? He, dude, he, no, dude, Kenny, Kenny Miller, come on. All right, so at halftime, nothing much at all has happened. Like, pretty much zero. Okay, so two shots on target for him, four shots on target for me. Kenny Miller with the breakthrough in, what was it, the 25th minute. Just an incredible, incredible little header goal. And uh, the squad is playing great. It's not, the squad is playing good. It's not playing incredible. But I will say the main positive is, the main positive is that we haven't let Zaha or Martial get a goal yet. I'm actually surprised that we haven't conceded. Let's get in the second half. Let's show the world what the Scottish Premier League is all about. <laughs> Huh? And it a penal! Come on, boys! King Kenny is getting himself a hat trick. Let's see what he's got for pens. Uh, Dembele has got 92, and then Miller's got 70. So you know what? Let's keep it. Let's give it to Dembele because he is the second half of this epi. Dembele, the slot is high, and there we go! Two mil! If I'm being dead honest with you, Kenny Miller has been the best player in the squad so far. Bolts of lightning from his ass. <laughs> Alright, so the defense open wide open there. 2-1. What are we, in the 82nd, 83rd minute? Come on, 85th minute, boys. <laughs> we need to win this thing 3-1. Hold on. I feel like if that match would have lasted maybe a few more minutes, he would have come back and equalized. But uh, we managed to hold on to the 2 1 victory in match number one. We get a goal for Kenny. We get a goal for King Kenny Miller. We get a goal for Musa Dembele um, in the form of a pen. And we get a victory in match number one. Eight shots, six on target. 15 shots, six on target. Like I said, a couple more, a few more minutes added to that match. That I think he probably would have come back and equalized. But we get ourselves, like I said, a victory in match number one. King Kenny lives up to his expectations in match number one. Let's get to match number two. Let's see if we can get a hat trick with one of Dembele or King Ken. Match number two, and it is not going to get any easier. He's got the 86 Maratha. He's got uh, he's got Mane. He's got William Deli Ali, Ibra at Cam, and then he's got Gundogan as well. Just about as good of a Premier League side as you can run, maybe with the exception of not having a, a Martial and Pogs. But uh, match number two was shaping up to be a tough one. Let's see if we can get this one in the books too. What am I even doing? Freestyle. Rock the mic. Are you kidding me? King Kenny with the layoff and the finesse outside the box. Just a beautiful little, oh, come on. Sons of Scotland, I am William Wallace. William Wallace is seven feet tall. Yes, I've heard. He kills men by the hundred. And if he were here, he consumed the English with fireballs from his eyes and bolts of lightning from his arse. <laughs> wow, what a save. Crazy, crazy stat. But his positioning's insane. He's got no hair. And he's freaking Scottish, bro. What more could you want? <laughs> like, I know it wasn't a great angle, but Musa, we gotta have that.
Miller has lost the defender. Oh, brilliant! Kenny Miller! That's the value of quality. He's certainly not the youngest. Can someone please explain to me what Kenny Miller's card actually is? He doesn't miss. He's missed one shot. I think he's had like five or six. What is his card? Like it was going to be bleak it didn't look like we were going to do much of anything but we managed to step up and we are up 4-2 in the 45th minute <laughs> In match number two, are you kidding me? He's got himself a pretty decent, not an overwhelmingly, uh, not an overwhelmingly um, a beastly Premier League side. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't call any of those players outside of maybe, maybe Begovic and maybe Welbs OP. But uh, he's got himself a guest. But he doesn't have one thing that I have. He's not got King. He doesn't have King Kenny. On. That's what happens when you let the computer play for you, bro. Woo! Okay, so Dembele's got the 91 pens. I think it's so... It, so Dembele's got the 91 pens. I think we we have to give it to Dembele in a close match like this. He's got to be taking them. Come on! Oh, let's go! Bro, I thought he got a glove on it, which I think he did. But it bounced off the gloves into the back of the net. 30th minute, 1-0 gonna be a very very tight match these guys are actually playing well together can we make it can we make it three wins in a row can we make it three victories in a row bro come on dude bruno alves might not have the pace but he can still defend what a beast I'm picturing the way the scene is playing out. One of the guys is saying, "Dude, go middle. No, go right. No, dude, go middle. Go right." <laughs> All right. Uh, my my email address. chance right there like literally it was a tap in and he took it I mean like we took it as hard as we thought we could I mean I didn't think there was a chance the keeper was gonna be able to get that 9.4 9.2 for Dembele uh, an assist from Lee Griffiths and then Kenny Miller just the entire squad really doesn't show up in the third match 13 shots seven on target felt like we should have won that one 100% we get the uh, we get the promotion into bit to division number five six goals in three matches on the hot cut rating given the fact that he only goes for 1300 uh, that he only goes for 13,000 coins I'm gonna have to give him a solid 9.3 on the hot cut rating now a little bit disappointed that he didn't provide any assist but the way he played he really did play like he was a third striker Lee Griffiths played well um, uh, Musa Dembele was very very solid very agile very strong but uh, for whatever reason, was not backing goals. It was the man, Kenny Miller, King Kenny, uh, for Rangers that was putting the goals through on net. But like I said, a 9.3 on the hard cut rating because he is so cheap and he has some pretty incredible stats for being that old of a card. The oldest inform player in FIFA 18. I'm trying to think if there's been an older inform card in the past couple of years. Maybe that's another uh, question of the episode that you guys could go ham on in the comment section below. But anyway, boys, that is going to be the King Kenny episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Let me know. Some other vids you guys would like to see from this most te recent team of the week. We could do a Mertens, we could do an Iguain, we could even do a Cavani episode. You guys let me know in the comments. If you guys did enjoy the epi, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Adeh.